Welcome back. I think a lot of us are very familiar with the idea of color blocking when it comes to fashion, but it's also a big trend in the makeup world. So here to show us some of her favorite color blocking makeup techniques is makeup artist Victoria Radford. Welcome back to the show, Victoria. Thank you so much for having me again. It's so nice to see you guys. Okay, Victoria, before we jump in, we, let's talk about what this idea of color blocking when it comes to our makeup is all about. Well, just like in fashion, color blocking simply means pairing different panels of often very bold colors together. That means applying one color to a feature like your eye and a different contrasting color to a feature like your lips. It's a really fun way to experiment with color, especially in the summertime. I'm really excited about the first combo that you have, which involves like a delicate pink on the lids, which I've always wanted to try, and you pair it with a, a red lip. So tell us why this combo works and why you love it so much. Well, pink looks absolutely gorgeous on all skin tones. The finished effect is so fresh and flushed. And then paired with a red lip, we call this monochromatic because I'm using two colors from the same tone. I should say it actually makes color blocking easy to step into. It's because yeah. it's always going to look really good together. I like that it's easy. So let's step into it now together. Where do we start? I like to start with the eyes and I'm using okay. a brand new product from Charlotte Tilbury and this is called Pillow Talk Cheek and Lip Glow. And I'm gonna just make like a little base. And I know I just said that this is actually a lip and cheek glow, but I love using cheek colors on the eye. And this also means that you can actually try this trend without going out and buying a separate- Oh, there's a mirror on it. Eyeshadow. There's a mirror. Just just that, there's convenient. a mirror. So I don't have to go like this. <laughs> Holy Toledo! <laughs> yeah, oh. it's true. You can just use your favorite pink blush that you have at home and pop it as a base on your eyes, just like that. And my favorite thing to do with this as well is to use a color that's a highlighter. For this, I'm going to use one of my own Radford products, and this is the Highlight Stick in Pearl. And you can use this two ways. You can either use your finger the same way and pop it on your eyes as well, or I call this Full Blast, which I love doing it on my cheeks like this. Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. On Ooh. both sides. And I love on the Cupid's bow and it just adds an overall glow to the look. <gasps> oh, it's lovely, Victoria. Yeah. Ooh, fun. It's my favorite. We uh, need to add that red lip now. So any tips on finding your perfect shade of red for this look or will any red do the trick? I really like a red that's in the same tone. So I'm picking a pink undertoned cherry red lip. This is a brand new color by Tom Ford. And with these newer formulas, I just love swiping it on without being too precise because the overall look should be effortless. Ooh, okay, we can do that. Are you gonna do it, Sin? I'm doing it. Oh, I'm gonna do it here. I don't know how, it's good from far, but far from good. I'm not doing a great Whoa! job. Okay, sure. <laughs> Who's the pretty lady? That is the look though. You can just use your finger to smudge out the edges and it gives you that pop. Okay, so we've done the more subtle version of color blocking, but now you're asking us to step into sort of a bolder look, which is a purple eye and an orange lip. Why does this color combination work? First of all, I've been talking about how purple is the color of the season for a while now. It really brings out all eye colors and makes them look like gorgeous jewels. And then paired with an orange lip, we're going across to the other side of the color wheel now. So these colors are more complementary. So this is more of an adventurous look for someone looking to really play with the, the most trendy popular colors of the season. Okay, so what is the first step here? I'm going to be using a Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner for this. This one's called Amethyst Aphrodisiac. And I'm just going to swipe it on, starting next to my lashes and then building it up. So I actually am going to put this all over my lid. You don't need to stress too much. You really want to aim for the lashes and 
swipe, swipe, swipe all over. And then you use your okay. finger to just smudge it out. This is beautiful what you're doing. I think it's absolutely lovely. But what if, what if one wanted to just dip their toes into the purple eye trend? Is there something we could do to absolutely. lighten it up? Yes. You both have pencils from Kiss New York. And mm -hmm. those are equally as great pencils to use for this look, especially if you're looking for something a little more subtle. And if you want to keep this a little more subtle, all you do is you keep the liner closer to the lash line. But the most important thing to learn here is the eyeliner positioning. So many people, when they go to put their oh. eyeliner on, they come into the mirror like this and it's yeah. impossible to access the lid. What you need is actually to put your chin closer to the mirror and keep your eyes open and just swipe back and forth. I'm not trying to hold my eye and draw a straight line. I'm just smudging it all in my lashes and then building it up. But if you want it to be a little more subtle, just don't bring it so high on the lid. Are you doing it on the bottom as well? Yeah, I, I do like it a little on the bottom, but it's totally up to you. There's no right or wrong with this. It's whatever your comfort level is. Are you able to apply it with keeping your mouth closed? Or like, how come my mouth... <laughs> I can't... That's, that's, your, that's your positioning for your liner. I see that a lot. No, you're doing a great yeah. job. You can just relax a little bit. I find that that's usually people <laughs> kind of get so tense when they're going to do and it really yeah, is just like it is, it's a relaxed <laughs> oh my god it's actually it was quite easy i will say to apply and up close i'm just noticing like a tiny bit of purple and it looks really nice i like it with this lip color yes but you are going to suggest that we match it now with an orange lip so give us your pro tips here Absolutely. I think that this eye color does look beautiful with a red lip as well uh, because they are uh, analogous colors, which means they're right. both on the same side of the color wheel. But I love it paired with an orange. I chose NYX Dazed and Diffused Blurring Lip Pencil in Fuego. It's a little bit of a warmer orange, more like a tomato, which is I like from my skin tone, but the real fun here is just picking whatever orange makes you the most happy and having fun with it. Cause that's the whole point to makeup, isn't it? So Can I layer this on top technique. of mine? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. It will just yeah. brighten it up. Same technique. I'm just mushing it all over and mush. I want to keep that blurred effect. Mush, mush, mush. Okay. Mush oh yeah. Oh, this oh is so God. nice. And I love to wear a purple eye and an orange lip like this with just a really simple outfit, all white, mm -hmm. all black, or even denim. But I would recommend keeping it neutral. But it's an amazing way to just dress your outfit up. Victoria, that was a hot tip. And I'm going to try it immediately because I'm going to keep experimenting with this. I love it so much. Thank you so much. You're always so much fun. And we learned so much. Oh, it's my pleasure for all the tips and product suggestions head to our website and we'll be right back after a short break <laughs> 